Why bother? People are bastards. Hello, my name is Artemis, and dealing with people is a pretty vital skill in life, no matter how much none of us really don't want to have to do with it. And it doesn't really matter what you end up doing, you're going to have to deal with people. And as I have learned in my life, there are certain ways and methods that can make this a little bit easier. And I thought I would pass on my knowledge because I'm just that kind. No promises on the easier front because when it comes to dealing with people, there's always going to be a certain amount of pain involved. But here we go, it is how to deal with these bastards. This is a little trick that I actually got when I was learning how to work with animals, but considering people generally act like a pack of wild fucking carnivores, the logic still applies. Now the free seas are actually apparently not what I originally thought they were going to be. I thought it was like the mantra of uh, you know being blunt, direct and to the point, hence the phrase calling a cunt a cunt. But after seeing how that works in practice, it's not always as effective as you might think. Excuse me, where did you keep your tea bags? Uh, they're, they're right behind you. Oh. Where? I said they're right behind you, you stupid cunts! Jesus, are you blind? Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Artemis, what was wrong with that? And honestly, I can't honestly give you an answer. I, I don't know. Like, that's probably gonna be one of the big mysteries of life, why that isn't a good thing. But people tend to get a bit shouty when you treat them like the fucking idiots that they are. But no, the real three C's are cool, calm and confident and it is the holy trinity of being able to deal with people quickly and effectively. Keep cool and chill because no one wants to interact with a tight, wound up arsehole unless it's in the bedroom. Uh, keep yourself calm because there's uh, you know, a lot of chances they're just as awkward as you. And keep yourself confident because even if you don't feel it, you can just fake it till you make it and that actually does work. Excuse me, where's your key to tea bags? Uh, they're, they're right behind you. Oh. Where? You turn around, and they're on the third shelf down. Oh, right. So, where? Dude, you're really trying my fucking patience. What? They're, they're, uh, here, here they are. They, these are the tea bags. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I don't like those ones. Cut. Okay, maybe not the perfect textbook example that I wanted to display, but you get my point in any case. People will consistently test your patience, and the three C's is one very useful method for getting them back out of your fucking life as quickly as possible. People love hearing the sound of their own fucking voice, and nothing will stop them doing that. Not love, not money, not even a brick to the fucking teeth can stop people from fucking just making things longer than they need to be and stretching shit out when they're ultimately just wasting your time. Hi, uh, excuse me, do you sell slippers in here? Hmm? Yeah, just at the uh, back of the store, just down that way. Oh, excellent, excellent, fantastic. I just fucking love slippers. They're like so much better than shoes. Like, don't you agree? Obviously, naturally. Hey, do you actually have any that you could wear instead of shoes, like outdoor slippers? Um, maybe. They're all back there, so... What about like fluffy ones, big plush ones? Because I really like the ones with the really cute designs, you know, really soft and whatnot, feel really nice when you walk in. You know, I like a good variety as well. I've got a collection. I don't know if you know this. I've got a collection I can add to and whatnot. Is, are you listening? I'm talking here. Okay. Didn't realise I was going to be the bad example on that one. But yeah, people will often get their hooks into a fucking conversation and stretch it the fuck out and just not shut up. Sometimes the best way to getting out of this sort of situation is just giving all of the information you have in a very condensed form and then ending it, making an ending of like a passing pleasantry or a nod or something. Hi, uh, excuse me, do you sell slippers in here? Hmm? Yeah, just at the uh, back of the store, just down that way. Oh, excellent, excellent, fantastic. I just fucking love slippers. They're like so much better than shoes. Like, don't you agree? Obviously, naturally. Hey, do you actually have any that you could wear instead of shoes, like outdoor slippers? Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what we do have, but all of the footwear we keep at the back of the store, all the slippers are actually behind that. So if there's anything down there that's like that, that's where it will be. Otherwise, I'm afraid I can't help you too much, but you have a good day. Cheers. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, thanks. You gotta cut those fuckers off like a diseased limb, alright? Don't give them an inch because they'll take the whole dick. Just give them the information that they came for and get the fuck out of there. Now, it's nice to have a conversation with people, it's nice to have a chat, and it's nice to be warm and friendly and welcoming, but sometimes you just don't have the time for that. You're busy, you're doing something else, you're already talking to someone else and helping them with their query, some shit like that, and you just need yourself a really solid way of getting the fuck out of there, otherwise you'll never get anything done. The biggest weapons that you can have at your disposal is a simple smile and your manners. 
I mean, not literally. I mean, you could have like a big fuck off hammer or a baseball bat, but they're not always advised to be used. And you can't get arrested for smiling. Some people are just going to be fucking assholes and want to vent their bad move and bad life choices back onto you. And one of the best ways of making them feel like a top asshole is by being smiley and polite. Make them feel like they're just being a total cunt that they are. Oi, where the fuck is the foot cream? Just this way, sir. Full range and everything here. And it's on offer as well. That might be helpful. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's, that's really helpful. Thanks. Yeah, that's right. You fucking wallow in your bad mood, you cunt. Now, this would be very hard to maintain, and hell, it might make you turn into a straight-up sociopath, and not even the cool ones that we see on TV. But it completely kills the momentum if they are looking to actually kick off. And speaking of kicking off... Some people will just be looking for a fight. They will be pissed off at the world or something else or something really small or that generally they're just a cunt and they will come in just looking for an excuse to start a fucking fight. They often come in with that predictable swagger, that look in their eye. You can sort of see them coming a mile off in general body language and they will just be looking. And this is where you need to be using your advantages, whatever it is they may be. Now, this will be unique to everybody. Everyone's got something that they were gifted with and that they can use to their advantage. Mine, for instance, that helps me mitigate negativity is my height. Because no fucker wants to really argue with someone when they have to crane their neck and look up at them. Oi, fuck stick. Um, sorry? I want to speak to your fucking manager, you prick. Ah, well. I'm sorry to say, there's no manager here today, and no prick either, aside from the one that's standing in front of me, though that one appears to be shriveling and shutting up about now. Yeah, well, it's not really a problem anyway, so it's, it's fine, yeah. Oh, no problem. You have a wonderful day, sir. Let's keep on walking. It's a cheap tactic, but it's an effective one. Fuck it, there's, there's no reason you shouldn't use it. It's nice and easy and... Hell, it will stop things from escalating in some cases. Don't misuse it. Don't think that that's all you fucking need. Otherwise, you could end up getting chinned. And my final little tip actually revolves around people who have kicked off. You've not been able to stop it. It's inevitable. They have just decided they're going to try and ruin your day because obviously their life sucks. Quite simply, kill them with kindness. And I don't mean a massive knife that you have scratched the word kindness into. Why are all these jokes about violence? Oh, it's people. Right, and they make you feel like, no, yep, I get it. Okay, I connected the dots. It's fine. Okay, let's say that some fucker has kicked off of some complaints. They've decided that some part of your job is, you know, pissing them off today and that they're going to be righteous and make a stand and really make you think about your actions by just generally being a shouty, annoying cunt. Uh, their general tactic is going to be to kick off and want to speak to someone more higher up because they want to scare you, maybe make you scared for your job. They will then probably start attacking you as a person, calling you a disgrace and shit because what they really, 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 really want is for you to kick off right back because they know from the second they raise their voice and start making a complaint, they know they are fucked. They know they are dead. They know they are not winning this thing. So what they really need is for you to give them that win by kicking off as anybody would, by responding in kind and defending yourself. And as painful as it is, you gotta stop yourself doing it. You just gotta be kind, be courteous and be polite. Do not fucking let them take that moral high ground. I want to speak to your manager now. You are a fucking disgrace to this place, okay? Oh, no problem, sir. Right away, sir. I have never been treated so poorly. I can't believe they let you work here. Oh, I do apologize, sir. I'm so dreadfully sorry you feel that way, sir. Oh, you will be sorry. I will see to it that you never work in retail again. Oh, please, sir. Do you promise? Oh god, this will damn near kill you, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna take some effort, you're gonna need to punch a wall or some shit after this, but do not give them the satisfaction, they want you to do this, and ultimately these people do not fucking matter, their complaints don't go anywhere, you know what happens when you complain in a fucking shop? We take the piss out of you. You become one of our funny little jokes. In fact, half the time, I've seen it in other shops and I'm just minding my own fucking business at the checkout. Someone wants to mouth off from the staff. They're just waiting to vent some anger. You don't want to fucking get into that, all right? Jesus Christ, right now we're in a lockdown. If you're going to a shop and people are working, they're already stressed. You do not want to be the fucker who becomes their venting outlet. Oh my God, you might lose an eye. 
but yes, there you go. There are some useful tips for dealing with the general public. Um, they're all cunts anyway, so I don't know why you'd want to. But now we don't really have a choice in that matter, do we? Hopefully you found this instructional or at least entertaining. Uh, yes, I do realise that it was a bit weird that I'm releasing a video on how to deal with people during a period when we're not supposed to be mixing with people. But shh, I had the idea. I made it. Who fucking cares? Um, if you really did enjoy this video, uh, maybe you would like to sponsor me on Patreon. Um, you might also like to think about certain things when you're talking online, like social media policies. So if you're going to comment down below and you've got it written somewhere online where you work, be careful. Um, you know, I've read my social media policy. I know I'm covered, just in case. But yes, obviously, be careful. The world is a scary place. And um, oh, look, the patron logo is still there. Oh, I just left it up on the screen just in case anybody wanted to help me out. Where it's a very difficult time in the year, maybe. I'm not bored of this shameless shit. I can keep fucking going. Hey, look, now there's pause. Pause and patron. Go for it. I'll, I will whore my paws out if I fucking have to, fam. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to regret saying that. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.